Oh, I have to think back 50 years ago. Oh my God, it's such a long time. There was a lot of press all over the world who came to Amsterdam. Press from England, from Germany, from France. 50 years ago, John and Joko stayed in the Hilton Hotel room 702 in Amsterdam to have their bed in for peace. This was the spot I was taking this picture from. It brings back memories. It's so funny. My name is Hovert Roos and I'm a photographer here in Amsterdam. John Lennon, he, he was my hero. I was 15 in that time. In those days, I just had one goal in life. I wanted to be a photographer. And I read in the paper that they were giving a press conference. So I thought, I have to get into that room. So I picked up my camera and stood in the line holding my press card. It wasn't a real one. I, I made my own. I think the security guys thought, okay, let him go. <laughs> the moment I walked in to room 702, it was magic. It was magic. There they were, you know, John and Yoko. What they did, trying to get peace by laying in a bed, was totally different. They just wanted to have the world talking about peace. It was very special. It was very special. It was, yeah. Roberto! <laughs> How are you? Oh, nice to see you. Long ago, long too long, too long. All the world was uh, looking at uh, what was happening in Amsterdam. It's fantastic. Actually, John and Yoko were refused from another hotel for their appearance. Our company has always been very broad in mind. We accept them, and we were very happy they were with us. Conrad Hilton had a belief that world travel could make a difference to world peace. It seemed to me that if we could get people from all nations staying under the roof that they wouldn't want to fight. When people get a chance to meet, to sit face to face, to share a cup of coffee, then they understand each other better. So if we can just keep on drinking that proverbial cup of coffee around the world, we think that uh, we're helping out in the struggle for world peace. The message of how important peace is, it's still so relevant in these days. We still have to, oh, I say it, omarwe. It's a Dutch word, omarwe, hug it and hold it to, to love each other. Anything that inspires people to help each other, to talk to each other, to spread peace and understanding, these are the things that are worth remembering. To dream us. Isn't that wonderful?